Gavin Newsom, uh, who I truly believe is an evil lizard person from another <laughs> planet wearing totally a human is. outfit. Oh my God. Uh, he went on Sean Hannity and just laid out a whole bunch of bunk, which we'll debunk in just a sec, but here's his bunk. In 2021, California had 7.8 percent of GDP, GDP growth in this country, one of the fastest growing economies anywhere on planet Earth. This state continues to be the tent pole of the American economy. 25.6 percent of all American jobs came from this state in April. In the last two fiscal years, we enjoyed $177.7 billion in operating surpluses. We're on our way to be the fourth largest economy, eat your heart out, Germany, in the world. Number one in R&D, venture capital, more scientists, researchers, more Nobel laureates, more patents emanating out of this state than any other state in America. With all due respect, Florida doesn't even come close. Eat your heart out, Texas. California continues to I be the dominant economic engine I, for the American I promised public. you before this interview, I would let you give full answers. That's a full answer. Thank okay, so almost everything he said there was either a, a lie or a confusion. <laughs> in terms of some of the numbers, California, despite the one point five-ish million people who fled is still a massive state. So a lot of their numbers seem very big, but right. it's purely because yes, for decades, it was the place everyone wanted to, everyone wanted to go. Now it's the place that everyone wants to flee. Uh, Miriam, mm -hmm. the craziness there, people always say, well, when is it gonna stop? Or, or what is the low point? What is, what is the bottom so that they can reverse it? I see no reversal on this thing. I, I think they are just going off the deep end. What do you think? Well, absolutely. And and he just it's like he just doesn't see what's happening right in front of his very eyes in places like San Francisco, which is just absolutely falling apart. And he doesn't recognize or he ref refuses to admit all the people that have fled California. They're hightailing out of there with good reason. And so I don't know how he can, you know, it's fine. He can memorize all of his little stats and pretend that they are creating this, this narrative that's utterly untrue to anyone who has actual eyes and ears on the ground. But, but you know, it, it's clearly false and you only need to look at the actual things that are happening. He talks in circles. That's what he's doing. He's talking, it's like, I can smell him through the screen. It's like, he smells like bad cologne. That's the sulfur. He's like, it's, so, <laughs> it's so gross. I mean, he smells like a used car salesman with way too much cologne on. He's just like, he, he's a complete skeeve. I know we're supposed to be talking about data and stuff like that, but that's, he's like the cult of personality to me. Like he is the guy that like, he's the empty suit. He says a bunch of words. They mean nothing. People buy into that crap. But I do want to read you guys a couple stats that actually will give a little more context than what he was tossing out there. This is from the Public Policy Institute of California. California's violent crime rate increased by 6% from 440 to, per 100,000 residents in 2020 to 466 in 2021. While robberies fell somewhat by 1.9%, aggravated assaults jumped point by 8.9%, uh, and homicides and rape, those are the really bad ones, increased God. by 7.7 and 7.9% uh, respectively. And let's just do a little bit more here. This is from California Matters. Uh, the first statewide snapshot of California's homelessness crisis since the pandemic hit reveals that the number of people without a stable place to call home increased by at least 22,500 people over the past three years to 173,800. Homelessness grew by 15%. This is from governing.com. Uh, for all of 2022, California's economy ranked 10th worst for GDP growth among the states advancing only 0.4% versus 2.1% national pace. Top growth was found in Idaho at 4.9%, then Tennessee at 4.3%, Florida at 4%, Nevada at 3.7%, and Texas at 3.4%. So that is really the proof in the pudding stuff, that in the last two years, basically, as we have lived through all of this craziness, where are people moving? Idaho, Tennessee, Texas, mm -hmm. Florida. Anywhere else. Literally anywhere else. Yeah. 